War Diary Day 517 of Russia's war against Ukraine. You've got to hand it to Vladimir Putin. His investment in Donald Trump is paying off big time. The reality is, is that Joe Biden has been a good friend of Ukraine. But by not delivering the long range rockets and the F-16s in a timely fashion, Ukraine's counteroffensive is slow and stalling and the problem is that there is no opposition to his policy in the uh, corridors of power in the United States because Trump has effectively been bought by Kremlin gold or Kremlin cunning or maybe simply that Vladimir Putin has a kind of crush sorry that Donald Trump has a crush on Vladimir Putin one of those three or perhaps a combination of all three but what you've got then is an American policy which is to help Ukraine for as long as it takes but not to deliver Ukrainian victory as quickly as possible which is the only way to go because the moment Vladimir Putin smells weakness he he expands is like some ghastly poisonous toad that under threat he puffs up so what you have to do is to is to squash the toad squash him flat kill the toad and to do that the west has got to arm ukraine properly with fighter jets with long-range rockets with everything they need and Biden isn't giving them that because he's worried about Russian chaos. Maybe he's going to give them that when he wins his second term, but that could be too late. And Trump isn't calling out Biden's timidity. He's not going there because it seems to me that he is more or less a useful idiot of the Russians. Vladimir Putin to fuck off.